Well, for Texas A&M Commerce, last night's game against Kingsville wasn't your typical road game. As our Lauren Cherry reports afterwards, instead of heading back home, the team stuck around to help folks who were devastated by Hurricane Harvey. Kobe Carthel, head football coach of Texas A&M Commerce, could feel the impact of Hurricane Harvey all the way from Commerce, Texas. Well, this was an area that had a huge need, and, and I, I saw a lot on Facebook and reading articles that, you know, there was plenty of work to do, and they were short volunteers. And I'm like, shoot, we've got 90 able bodies, young college student athletes. He knew when his student athletes made the trip to South Texas and saw the damage firsthand, they'd be impacted too. This is crazy, like, pretty much destroyed, you know, by the hurricane. You're seeing the devastation out, uh, out here. Uh, it was really sad for me, you know, to think about what the people around here have been through. Uh, I couldn't imagine this for myself. The Lions football program spent the day assisting with recovery efforts in Port Aransas. It was personal for many of them, whose families and friends were affected by Hurricane Harvey. Because a lot of us and all of our teammates have uh, personal family members that were affected by the hurricane. So us coming out here and really just helping all those in need just really impacted some of us, even on a personal level. So we were very excited and jumped right on it when you brought it to our attention. Leaving South Texas with a 4-0 record is a step closer to their overall goal. But their time spent helping the Coastal Bend is an even bigger win for the program. Well, I, I think there's a lot of things in life bigger than football, and we're all blessed with uh, talents from the big man above. And, and uh, you know, that's one thing that we've been able to do is, is you know, kind of, you know, share his ministry and pay it forward and, and uh, you know, get out here and, and help these people that are in need. Lauren Cherry, Chris 6 News.